expand this airport. But they're saying that because Peer Holdings are doing what they always do. They're acting as developers, they're acting as land speculators, they're trying to keep their position as intact as possible in the area immediately around the airport that they now either control or own. So let's not be carried away uh, by Peel. But I would re-emphasise then that the amendment that was turned down before is a practical way of putting into effect the belief of what appears to be every member of this council. Don't let's talk about the oblet shore. Let's actually plan now for a safe ecological environment which will contribute to the well-being of Liverpool and not mess around in the hope or the expectation that someday Peel might make a decision. Because Peel only acts when Peel thinks it can make money out of it. It never acts on behalf of the people of them. Thank you, Councillor Kemp. We'll now turn to the amendment. Can I invite Councillor Hetty Wood to move the amendment? Stand in her name, please. Thank you, Lord Mayor. So this amendment was put forward to strengthen the motion not to go against it in any way. And the amendment follows um, lots of discussion and commitments made at the recent select committee where we reviewed um, the, the final version of the local plan. And it goes to, to, to put on record the commitment that we've had from our cabinet member and from our cabinet as a whole to review the local plan urgently, particularly around green space policies, around the airport policy and looking into expansion. And as Councillor Kemp has just said, about his amendment, but he knows we could not have amended the local plan. This is why we need to put in, into place a further review. As has been said, the local plan has been in progress for such a long time, it's only right that we review it. It's also absolutely vital that we put into action our principles and the commitment that we've made as a city to tackling climate change. And as part of this, we need to be supporting and facilitating ourselves and our partners and moving towards a position of climate justice and just transition, bringing with us and uplifting our residents at the same time. Now, Councillor Key has made uh, some comments during her speech about our amendments um, and, and, the, and the financial implications of that. Now, what the amendment does is it asks for information before we make a financial decision. And I think, for one, it's incredibly irresponsible to make a commitment that involves council finances without having that information first. So if we go back, this plan, it's a master plan, it was released in 2018, doesn't take into account <coughs> our 29 commitments, doesn't take into account the changes to the aviation industry that's happened over the last two years. So it's only right that it's reviewed, and the airport should be reviewing it, we should be asking them to do it. But if we think about that again, 2018. So, that's three, four years now. And Councillor Crone said earlier that they've done everything they could in this time to fight against the expansion. So why then has this been brought tonight, following the local plan, following the Greens voting against the local plan? Councillor Monby was absolutely right when he said before that green politics are gesture politics. They are politics to vote against HMO restrictions, against accessible homes, against environmental protections all because they care more about slogans and social media kudos than actually strategically thinking and planning ahead to improve the lives of the residents in this city. Lord Mayor, I move the amendment. Thank you, Councillor. Is the amendment seconded? Thank you. I've been given notice that Councillor Semic wishes to speak. Do we have any other people? Uh, thank you. Uh, thank you, my uh, uh, Lord uh, Mayor. So, let's be clear here. Nobody wants the airport expansion. In October 2021, Lord Deben, who is a Conservative peer and the chair of the Climate Change Committee, who was the guest, if you would remember, here at the Liverpool City Council when they declared climate emergency in 2019, told the Port Operators Association that there is no any space for airport expansion. The idea we are going to have a whole lot of airports expanding 
we are just not in that world. So we now inhabit a different world than when the first draft of the local plan was submitted or when the master plan for the airport was published. Way beyond we are now than 2016 and 2018. So there have been climate emergency declarations across the local authorities and countries. We've had COVID and COP26. Public pressure is mounting and we must listen to our citizens. Liverpool should and lead the way. In Mayor's words, from the forwards to our newly published Liverpool Net Zero Carbon 2030 Climate Challenge Plan, there is a sentence that says that we need a reset in how public services are delivered, homes heated, and how people travel. And this particular Liverpool Net Zero Carbon 2030 Plan asserts that insufficient research and funding has been committed to air and water transport to currently enable decarbonisation of the sectors. Furthermore, the plan states that aviation is highly dependent upon carbon offset schemes, which would contradict our own local policy about carbon offsetting that we adopted in 2020. So, as we all know, the review of the local plan is actually mandatory. There's a legal obligation there, as it's more than five years old, and we have had a confirmation from the relevant cabinet member, Councillor Sarah Doyle, already at a special select committee, and again here tonight, that the immediate review of the policy EC7, which covers the airport and land designation of Oglet from Greenbelt to development, will take place. Review should happen in the light of Zero Carbon 2030 plan, our climate emergency, of course, and mayoral triple lock. And our view is that there shouldn't be airport expansion and that the green belt should remain. Thank you very much. Thank you, Councillor. <laughs> Are there any other speakers? No, we will move. Yes, yeah, so we'll now vote to accept the amendments. Are we all in favour? Nobody against? Unanimous. Thank you. So that now becomes the substantive motion and we now vote on that. All those in favour? Is it unanimous? You are wonderful, thank you. We now move to cross-party motions. Can I invite Councillor Ruth Bennett to move a recommendation in relation to those motions included on the agenda and proposed for cross-party approval without debate? Okay, can I move that the motions listed as items 16 to 21 on the agenda be approved on a cross-party basis without debate? And can I invite Councillor Ian Byrne MP to say a few words on item number 16? Councillor Byrne? Thank you, Lord Mayor. Thank you for the universal support for the Real 2 Legacy Project. Across the chamber. Thanks to Ruth Bennett, the Mayor, opposition parties, and officers for accepting this motion at short notice. I know you all, as councillors, will be supporting schools in April when we come out here to celebrate the first hills of the day in the city and the Bengal City region. Can I place on record my thanks to the Mayor and councillors Tom Logan, Maureen Delahunty, and Elaine Reeves? of the Liverpool Learning Partnership, their help to move this project forward over the last couple of months. And all the family members, survivors and campaigners who have offered their invaluable support. This project means so much to so many and I cannot put it to words the honour I feel ruling it and seeing it build into a fitting legacy for the families and survivors through education, 
and it's sure the real truth about the hills we disaster and its aftermath will be taught to present and future generations. I feel this is a real fitting moment for me to step down from my councillor role. It's been one of the honours of my life to serve the people of Everton since 2018. I could say so much about the experience, but now is not the time. I wish everyone in this chamber the best of luck, making the right decisions in supporting the greatest people in the world, in the greatest city in the world, to what would be an extremely challenging period for so many. Solidarity, everybody, and just us for the 97.